Hello and welcome to our PicoFX demonstration video. The PicoFX is our lighting controller. This can be programmed to do thunderstorms, peppers, ghosts, basically anything you can think of that involves flickering lights, uh, turning off and on different devices, and having that synchronized with sound. Uh, the unit itself has two individual outputs. They can be used for dimming lights or they can even be set to be strictly on off so that they can be used to control an air solenoid or any device that plugs into a wall. Uh, there's a limitation of 10 amps total so about 500 watts for each outlet. Uh, that can be one big 500 watt light or that can be a whole bunch of 50 watt lights. Uh, your choice as long as you stay 500 watts or below. Uh, we got the power in here. We have our trigger connector here. We connect our pressure mat or a manual trigger or, trigger or a motion sensor. SD card goes here. Uh, you put your MP3s on the card. Uh, you can also do various uh, settings with the card. You can write protect your uh, work. You can tell an output that it can't be dimmable. Uh, all kinds of options with this unit. Uh, this is our record button and also our play button. I have a couple LEDs to indicate the status of our outlets, the trigger, and also our recording and playing. So, let me just see here. I'll uh, plug in some lights. Just use some simple night light style things to get you set up. We have our computer speakers here. That's just plugged right into the audio output of the unit. This can be a you know, huge stereo system, whatever you want. The sound coming out of this thing is awesome. So the bigger, the better. Um, basically, with this unit, we have two knobs on here that control the brightness of the lights. So if you start turning this knob, the uh, light will brighten. Same thing with the other light. You can do whatever you want with the knobs there. In, this particular card that we have in here does not have an ambient program on it. So when there's no ambient program, it just leaves the lights set wherever you have your knobs. When the unit gets triggered, it will then play the sound and uh, animation you have stored for the trigger. So let's try that. If I trigger it here by pressing this button, the sound plays, and that's some uh, animation that we put in to go along with that sound. Very easy to record your own animation. All you do for that is you hold the record button for three seconds. So I'm going to hold it, and you'll notice the little record light right there come on. Now, when you let go, it's going to give you a countdown before the recording starts. You're going to see it go three, two, one, and then the sound will start, and that's when you start recording with your knobs. Very similar to a peekaboo, except it's knobs instead of buttons. So three, two, one, sound starts. just do whatever you want with the the knobs. It's just going to memorize it. You can record for as long as you want, up to about half an hour. Press record again to stop. Now when we trigger it, it'll play that back. As I said, the unit is very flexible. Just by taking the card out, and putting a different card in with different sounds or different files, it will completely change the unit. This one here is a, uh, this is a standard thunderstorm. So it's just basically programmed to, as soon as the unit powers up, to loop this forever. It'll just sit here and go constantly. A bit of a pause in between before the next uh, thunderclap happens. There it is. So this is just a typical thunder and lightning box. We've got another card here. This is a Pepper's Ghost. This one is actually a triggerable Pepper's Ghost. It can be set up to loop, so it just goes back and forth, back and forth constantly. Or you can have it set up so that when it's triggered, it actually runs a Pepper's Ghost. This one's actually a kind of a play on the Pepper's Ghost. We have it kind of going in between the two characters and then back into the other character. 
So you actually have this light up like that. You trigger it. It fades out from that light. Goes back and forth between the two. And then to the uh, demon or skeleton or whatever the second character is. Okay, so that's Pepper's Ghost. And uh, you can also get pretty sophisticated and have both ambient and scare at the same time. So in this case, we have an ambient sound that loops. And when we trigger the unit, you get a power failure effect. And then this one's going to fire off that triggers an air cannon or that could trigger a, you know, a pneumatic valve or something else that would scare the crap out of the people in the room. Then it goes back to the ambient sound. Just to demo the trigger, I'll pull this trigger block out here. Plug in a, this is a hand, hand trigger, but it can also be a, you know, a motion sensor or any other kind of sensor, pressure mount or whatever that you'd like. Uh, so the actor could be watching the people come in, press the button. There you go. Thanks for watching the Pico Effects demonstration video.